Yeah, YouTubers, Taz Man here bringing you another episode of Obsidian for V uh, for TT RPGs. <laughs> um, so in our last episode, we uh, got our system all set up or our vault all set up to start doing data view queries. We also looked at a plugin, um, a community one that uh, made it so that we could actually have notes attached to our folders and hide the actual note. And in this episode, we are going to continue working on our from clause as there is one, two, three, four, about five more example things that I want to show just with the from clause. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So in the last episode, we talked about the tags and how we can actually get our data view data from tags. Um, and here we are checking for any tags that say note one or note zero two. And if we go look at note one up here in the front matter, we have note one there. And in note two, we have a note two, but down here we actually have note zero two. And the thing I really wanted to point out that when we are returning the tags, what we're outputting, uh, we do not actually see the note 021 because that's actually in the note itself and not part of the front matter. All right. <clears throat> Having said that, let's move on. So we're going to go ahead and add six. Yep, six more. And we're going to say notes that link. Actually, is that the right one? No, no, no. This is not the right one. Uh, we want this one before it. So now we want to uh, get notes uh, within a SP specific root level folder. And it also gets its subcontents or subfolders and its subfolders. All right. So this is going to be uh, basically the same as what we were doing above. Um, however, we want to also get a little additional information. Now, all this information up here, it does have tags, but um, it doesn't actually have the name or status. Uh, it has different fields. So um, we're going to do it just a little bit different. So we're going to say data view and we're going to go ahead and do our thing. We're going to do it as a table because they're so much nicer. And let's see, let's get the, the file names already automatically returned. That's the link that we can click on. So let's just see what tags trying to think if there's any other default information that all of them would have. Let's just see what tags everything has. So T-A-G-S. So we want to see all the tags. Um, and now our from clause will be uh, a quote and the path to wherever we go. So YouTube in this case is our root. We don't have to actually type that in. But we want to do places and Galarian and Cortos, I think, is what I did. Um, and then what it's going to do is list everything within these folders. So let's go and do that and do from PLACES slash. I thought it was going to help with. Did we not install the various complements? Because that would help me a lot g-o-l-a-r-i-o-n and uh, Kortos k-o-r-t-o-s so that's basically it uh, we do not put the last slash because we just want the contents of that if we put another slash it's going to expect another folder level so we go look at this now you can see we have Absalon we have it doesn't actually have tags on the folders uh, we have Quartos, we have um, actually maybe they don't have any 
any uh, any tags on any of these uh, but as you can see we actually got our list here of five files and if we go look we have from Quartos we have Absalon which we created we can click on that we have in Otari we have Rin's Wonders and that we also have the Quartos folder and we have the Otari folder so even though those are hidden here in this view they actually are not hidden down here we can still see the Otari one because it's actually our file and the Absalon one and the Quartos one so where we would think we'd only see two of these things, we're actually seeing the hidden ones as well. Because they exist. They're actually in the file system as individual files. Um, so I want to check really quick if we have the various complements on here. We do not. We definitely need that one. Because I'm really... I didn't need to do that. Um, I'm a really slow typer, and any little things that pop up that help will definitely help. So VAR... So we have this various compliments by Tadashi Ai, Aikawa. <laughs> I sure hope I got that okay. Uh, what this does is actually kind of gives you kind of autocomplete and it will try and also, you know, help with spelling and stuff like that, which is definitely things I need. So now that we have that, and if we come in here, I think if I were to say get rid of that and do slash and k-o-r-t you'll see there we go oh actually but I didn't want the file I wanted the folder uh, so there we go alright so that's accessing a specific folder and its subfolders let's go ahead and hit enter twice I'm gonna go ahead and hide this guy too and I guess we don't need to do that. All right, so our next one is the one I was starting to type. And we're going to get notes that link to my current note. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll say notes that link to my C -U -R -E, current note. Note. There we go. Uh, so, doing two, three, and D A T A V I W. All right, so to do this, what we do is we're just going to get, uh, we're just going to get the tags, T A B O E, and we'll do tags like so. And it's really easy to reference our current note. All we do is pretend like we're creating a link, uh, the wiki link but nothing is inside of it so we could say f r o from and just like that and that's it we will now get any links or notes that are connecting or pointing or link to my current note so if we go look at these we can see that this one three should show up two should show up but one does not show up. So let's go see if we get those results. So we have three, oops, wait, is this the right one? Three, one, why are we getting a one? Hold on. Notes that link to my current note. Uh, da, da, da. Hold on, did I do something wrong here? Oh, one does have data view. Why should remove data view from one of these? Let's remove it from two. No, because two only has that. Let's remove it from three. There we go. And that's one of the cool things is data view is actually live. So when we do this and we run it again, now we have note one and two. Confused me for a second. My, my notes was actually wrong. All right. Uh, so the next one we're going to do is notes that my current note links to so not notes that my C -U -R -E current note link to go ahead and hit that oops just three data view and if we go look at our current note we are linking to 
one and three, right? So uh, let's one shrink that back down, and we will do. I think I had. I think I did name and status because tags got too big. Uh, so all these ones do have that. So we're gonna say from or not from table. And we're going to say name, comma, S-T-A-T-U-S. And from, form, from. And the way we can tell where our node is linking out to, this is outgoing links. We use the outgoing, I guess you could say this is a function or a method because it follows that kind of, uh, syntax so we type outgoing and then inside parentheses and then once again because it's our current note we just do whoops wrong thing we just do two of our brackets like so and now like I said we should see one and three come up so there we go we have one and three and like I said if if this changed if I added a new note in here it would automatically add that in there the next time it refreshes all right so that is that one all right our next one one two three four five six is going to be uh, some more complex sounding stuff uh, and I'm not sure if I if I'm actually writing this the most clear way feel free to change it in your thing so notes uh, that link uh, to a SPECIFIC specific note. So what this is going to check for is any notes that are linking to whatever note I want. Um, in this case, I'm saying Z note 01. So which one's linked to Z note 01? Well, this one does, and three does and two does not. So we should get data view and three when this is all done. So let's go ahead and do our three and D A T A V I W, And we're gonna get the same thing, just name and status, I think. So we'll just say table. And we'll say name, comma, S-T-A-T-U-S. And then uh, from, oops. And we do this like we do where we were checking what notes link to us. We just simply do this, but then we actually put in the name of the note that we want to check. So Z note 01 in this case, right? So if we run this one now, you'll see that we get data view and note, note 03, which is exactly what we were expecting to get. So you can see we got data view and note 03. And then the final one uh, from our froms that we have here, we're gonna say N -O -T, notes that a specific note, a S P E C S, <laughs> I cannot spell specific, S specific, um, S P E C I F I C. Actually, is that a spell check one? I don't know. Uh, specific note links to. All right, and go ahead and do one, two, three, D A T A V I E W, and hit enter. So, of course, T A B L E, like so. And name, comma, S T T U S. Really, name is kind of moot because it's already going to give the note name. But if we had a different name <coughs> inside our actual thing, like if I call this data view cheat sheet, oops, it's different than the file dot name. File dot name will look at this name will actually look at just this. So what we're looking at is 
what we want to do is do FROM. So this is going to be just like our one previous where we do notes that link to us or notes notes that my current note link to. I think so. yeah, the outgoing. So what we're going to do is do the outgoing. And we're going to do our parentheses and then inside here we're going to put our note which is uh, Z note 01. <clears throat> so if everything's working properly here, we should get note data view and note 03, right? However, it won't just be data view, it'll be data view cheat sheet. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that. And sure enough, we got our a data view cheat sheet, our statuses, and note 2. Uh, data view and three which is every note it's everything <clears throat> so there we go and that concludes the froms we're chugging right along the next thing I wanted to go over is a where clause we might want to filter our results so here we're just getting where we're getting data from and you know of course the basics how we're displaying said data but the from clause or the where clause is going to allow us to actually filter the data and this is where it actually gets really powerful um, where you can actually you know uh, get the data you want so I'm going to put in parentheses filter filtering results or not just filter I think that's better uh, so let's go ahead let me expand that in my notes over here so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna know we're gonna filter where a, a field actually exists right so we're gonna only return things so this is gonna search the entire thing and I'll show you that so we're gonna do um, Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, and say filter on a P A R T I C U L A particular field uh, if it exists. Uh, I think I'll put that in parentheses. If it P X I S T S. So if it exists. So when we were looking at our basic data view and it was pulling up all the data and everything and looking at it and we had lots of those little lines saying that there is no status field uh, this is a way that you can actually say only give me this stuff you're still doing a whole search of the entire vault uh, but we could use the from and limit that down so it doesn't I mean if we have a ginormous vault or a really big vault uh, that could take some time. So if we actually specifically said, oh, but only do it in this folder, it would uh, slow, uh, it would speed that up. So data view. So let's go ahead and do table. Table. Whoops. Uh, and dun, 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 dun. I'm just gonna get status. Actually, no, we're gonna get name and status. Comma S T A T U S. Oh my goodness, T A T U S. So name and status. And as we said before, if we do this, it's going to go through the entire uh, vault and it's going to grab everything. But what we want to say is, I only want to th see things that actually have a value in status. Doesn't matter what the value is. Uh, I just want to make sure that there is a value there. So. How do we do that? We use, we're gonna just leave it doing the whole vault because it's nice and small. Other words, we could do a from and localize it down to just the data view folder. But uh, just to show you this better, since everything has a status in there, we wanna do it this way. So we're gonna do where, and then the key that you want to see if exists. So S-T-A-T-U-S. So we just wanna see if static, status exists. So we do that, now you see we only get Four returned results and those are the four that actually have a status even though it's still going through the entire vault 
Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and close that one. Go here, go one, two, three, four, five, six. And next we're gonna filter on a particular field that has a particular value. Um, so we're gonna use in progress. So we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do FIL filter on a P-A-R-T-I-C-U-L-A particular field or a particular, I don't know, field. We'll leave it filled. That, whoops, T, that contain, that equals, T, Q, A, L, equals, equal, E, Q, U, A, L, S, equals A, C, E, R, T, a certain value. All right. Um, and let's go ahead and do this and do D A T A V I W. And I'm not going to do the name now uh, because it's going to be in the file name. I'm just going to have it be the status itself. Um, so we're going to do table and we're just going to do S T A T U S like so. And we're going to do our where clause. Whoa, finger slipped. Uh, and we're going to say status. But now we're going to say equals and we're going to give it the value we want. So in P R O G R E S S, like so. And you'll see that once we do that, now we get data view and note three, which are only two that have an in progress value. If we go look, we can verify that right here. That those two are the only ones that have the value in status. Now, this is an exact thing. If I just said progress, we would get no results back because it wants exactly. If I said in progress, but it's lowercase in, it's also gonna return no results. It's looking exactly for what you put in these quotes. Whoops. So you might say, well, how do I get it if I want, you know, something that contains it well I'm glad you asked <laughs> I'm just gonna copy and paste this and what we're gonna do because I believe I use the exact same thing instead of do equals here uh, actually we're just gonna get rid of all of this we're gonna change it and we're gonna say where C O N T I N S T A I N S can C O N contains and inside parentheses we're gonna put the field or where the uh, yeah, I guess field is the best uh, so we're gonna say s-t-a-t-u-s and what we want it to contain so for example we could say um, TED for started and completed so let's go and run that and sure enough, we got completed and not started. So uh, we're able to actually do that. So this concludes the where portion. Oh, whoops. And I think that's good. I think we're gonna end it here because we're at 23 minutes. Um, it might be one, maybe two more videos because these other ones are pretty short. Actually, groups are complex. And I'm not 100% sure I understand them, but I'll show you what I understand. But we still have sort, ordering, grouping, and limiting. Um, we might be able to finish that in one episode, or it might be two more. But uh, this should get you going. Uh, with this, you actually are able to now get the data. You can locate, you can give it an actual location of where the data is, and you can filter that data, which is going to get you going pretty good. And in the next episodes, we will work on those other four things. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and, subscri and subscribe. Uh, click that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget to tell other people about my channel. <clears throat> Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. We grow the channel.
and everyone wins. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.